After a final concept has been chosen, the next step is to classify that device. Can you give us some advice about how to go about that process? Sure. I think product classification is ultimately the most important first step um, because everything else flows from there. So to classify a product, I think we talked previously that there are two main things to consider, the fundamental technological characteristics and how the product is used clinically. So you can certainly search the FDA's uh, database. Um, there's a device classification section there. You want to cast a broad net and narrow from there. Um, there's also, once you're in the database, you'll see that there's you know, complete listings for 510K that you can sort, um, device listings, et cetera. So it could certainly you know, help you narrow down your search uh, pretty quickly. So over time, you know, I think uh, innovative products have a hard time fitting into um, a particular product class, and that's where I think if you can do significant amount of work to help FDA kind of connect the dots and understand how closely your product mimics an existing technology, I think that is the best uh, use of your time.